Hi, my name is Mike, and in this video we're going to be upgrading the RAM on our Dell Latitude 7490 laptop. As you can see on the BIOS screen, it currently has 16 gigabytes of memory, and we're going to be installing this 32 gigabyte memory kit from Crucial. This memory currently retails on websites like Amazon.com for around $150. To begin, you want to shut the laptop off and make sure that it's completely off, not in hibernate or sleep mode. Unplug any accessories. Flip it over. If you have an anti-static mat or something soft to lay it on, that's usually ideal so you don't scratch the top. Looking at the laptop from the bottom, you'll see there are eight screws located around the bottom of the case. Those use a standard Phillips head screwdriver. And we're going to be undoing those eight screws. Note that you only need to loosen the screws. They don't come completely out of the bottom. Once you have them all loose, you can usually grab it by the corner, typically by one of the screw heads sticking out, and lift the bottom of the case off. While you have the bottom of the case off, there's three things I recommend also checking. Those are to blow out the fan and anywhere on the bottom that dust might have collected. You can also check the other screws, especially up here by the hinges and the video connector to make sure those screws are all nice and tight. And the third thing I recommend checking is your battery. As these batteries get old, they can physically expand, which will swell up and cause damage to the case or touchpad or other internal parts. Here's one. Where you can see the battery is slightly expanded. I'll include a few photos to show ones that have gotten a little bit worse. If you do need to change the battery, it's just held in there with two screws and a power connector. To replace the two RAM modules, you would just grab the connectors from either side, spread them apart, lift the module out, take your two new modules, make sure that they're orientated correctly, press it down, you should hear it click. With the RAM installed, we can now close the case back up. I like to start with the screw in the middle and then work my way out. Once you have all of the screws reinstalled, you can flip the laptop back over and power it on. You'll use the F2 key to enter System BIOS. You may see a warning message telling you that the amount of system memory has changed. Once the laptop has finished its built-in self-test and entered BIOS, you can see now that we are showing a total of 32,768 megabytes or 32 gigabytes of memory available. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope to do a lot more computer repair and upgrade videos in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Have a great day and stay safe out there.